Hello everyone. Now in this session, we will try to understand what is Wheatstone network or Wheatstone bridge. And we will derive an expression for balance, condition for balance of a Wheatstone network. What is Wheatstone network? It is a system of four resistances and used to find out unknown resistance. Okay. Out of the four resistances, three resistance should be known and we can find the value of the unknown resistance. Okay. It is a device of four resistances and is used to measure one of the resistances in terms of other three resistances. We will see how the uh, Wheatstone bridge looks like. So, we will derive the condition for balance of a Wheatstone network. Say this uh, resistance is R1. Say this resistance is R2. This resistance is R3 here. And here we have R4. So these are the four resistances. The circuit is connected to a cell. Say the EMF of the cell is E. And here we have a galvanometer. Say resistance of the galvanometer is G. Now, say the total current flowing in the circuit, let it be I. So, the same amount of the current comes back to the cell. Here, say the current flowing through this branch, let it be I1. Current gets divided into I1 and I2. So, this is I2. I1 current comes here and Ig is the amount of current flowing through the galvanometer. Ig is the amount of current flowing through the galvanometer. So, what is the current here? I1 is there, I1 minus Ig is going here, I1 minus Ig. Okay. So, here I2 is coming, Ig is coming here, so I2 plus Ig. Okay. So, here the current will be I2 plus Ig, I2 plus Ig. So, I1 minus Ig, I2 plus Ig, okay. Ig, Ig gets cancelled, so we have I1 plus I2. We know that I1 plus I2 is equal to I. So, this is how current is distributed in this network. Now what we will do, we will, we will name the circuit, say I call this point as A, okay, this point is B, this point is C, this point is D, okay. Now we will apply KVL to the loop A, B, D, A. We are applying KVL, we are applying KVL to the loop, to the loop. A, B, D, A. Okay. Now, we know that uh, if the current is in the direction of analysis, IR product is negative. So, I will start from here. So, clockwise analysis. So, current is flowing in the direction of analysis. So, minus I1 R1, minus I1 R1. Okay. Then we will come here. So, we are going in the direction of analysis. Ig is in the direction of analysis. Minus Ig into G, where capital letter G is the resistance of the galvanometer. Then we come here, we go here. Okay, now analysis is opposite to the direction of current. So, plus I2 R2 plus I2 R2 is equal to 0. Okay, now I call this as equation number 1. Okay, now what we will do? We will apply KVL to this loop. Okay. Now, we will apply KVL, applying KVL to the loop, to the loop, so which is that loop, B, C, D, B, okay, B, C, D, B. Now, what will happen? I will start from here, okay. So, analysis is in the direction of current, okay. So, minus R3 into I1 minus Ig, okay. Then I will come here. Analysis is opposite to the direction of current plus R4 into I2 plus Ig. I2 plus Ig. Then we come back here. Okay. So opposite to the direction of current plus Ig into G plus Ig into G is equal to 0. Okay. Is equal to 0. This is our equation number 2. Equation number 2. Now, 
at balance when the bridge is balanced okay when the bridge is balanced when the bridge is balanced is balanced value of ig is equal to 0 this is very important ig is equal to 0 current flowing through the galvanometer is 0 when the bridge is balanced ig becomes equal to 0 okay when ig is 0 when ig is 0 what happens what happens to equation number 1 1 implies equation number 1 this ig is 0 okay this term becomes 0 then this i1 r1 uh, I'll take it to RHS. What happens? Then it will become plus. So, then equation 1 will become, okay, I1 R1 is equal to I2 R2. I1 R1 is equal to I2 R2. Hope you can understand. This term is 0. This is minus. I'm taking to the RHS. That becomes plus. So, I1 R1 is equal to I2 R2. Okay. Then, what is equation number 2? 2 implies equation number 2 implies here ig becomes 0 okay ig into r3 is 0 then what will happen minus r3 i1 okay minus i1 r3 okay i1 r3 then here this term is however 0 here ig into r4 is 0 i2 r4 plus i2 r4 plus i2 r4 is equal to 0 so this is equation number 3 okay that is equation number 3 now what will happen this is equal to this equal to i1 r3 equal to i2 r4 because when you take this to rhs it will become plus i1 r3 okay i1 r3 is equal to i2 r4 is equal to i2 r4 is equal to i2 r4 this is equation number 4 okay now what happens what is our equation number uh, what is equation number 3 equation number 3 is i1 r1 is equal to i2 r2 what is equation number 4 i1 r3 equal to i2 r4 Correct na? So if you perform equation 3 by equation 4, I1 and I1 gets cancelled, I2 and I2 gets cancelled, we are left with R1 by R3 is equal to R2 by R4. Equation 3, if you perform equation 3 divided by equation 4, what we will get? R1 by R3 is equal to R2 by R4 r2 by r4 this is a condition for balance balancing condition of a wheatstone bridge okay r1 by r3 is equal to r2 by r4 we'll see here okay here see r1 by r3 is equal to r2 by r4 this is a condition for balance thank you very much